Hello guys, welcome back to our channel and welcome to video 3 of Python Tally series. In this video, we are going to see how we can create a ledger in Tally from Python. We will send a request to Tally asking to create a ledger in its database. So let's start this video. So this is the XML body which we are going to send to Tally for creating ledger. So inside the body, we are setting Tally request tag to import data. That means we are telling Tally to import or save the data that is sent in the request. And then we are setting report name tag to all masters. That means we are telling Tally that the data we are sending is belongs to a master. And then we have Tally message tag. Inside the Tally message tag, we are using a ledger tag. So Tally will know the data we are sending is regarding to a ledger. And then we are using action attribute of ledger and setting it to create. That means we are telling Tally to create the ledger with the information we provided in the request. And inside the ledger tag, we are using some few tags which are the basic information for creating ledger in Tally. There are name, ledger parent, address, country, state name, mobile and GST in. So this is the XML structure we have to send to Tally for creating ledger. So now let's do it in Python. So this is the python code and I am using tkinter for GUI and then we have a main class called main window. Inside this class I have few labels and entry widgets for accepting the input from the user. So I have the inputs for ledger name, group name, address, country, state name, mobile, GST in. And I also had a button which is the submit button which is going to post the data to the tally. So whenever I click on the submit button, I am calling a function called submit. And inside the submit function, I had a few variables which contains the data from the input. And then I am constructing an XML based on these values from the input. And finally, I am posting this data to Tally using request. And then showing the response from the Tally in the message box. And then, in the main entry, I am initializing a new instance of class TK and also new instance of class main window and passing root to the main window. And finally, I'm calling main loop method of tk. So now let's run this code and test it. So this is the output of our code and this is how the interface looks like. So I open my tally here. So and I have only one ledger called profit and loss. So let's create some ledgers. And I bought my application here, so I'm going to create a new ledger. Let's say I'm going to create a ledger of name customer. I'm selecting the group name to Sunday Deptas. And address is Delhi. And then country is India. And then state name is Delhi. So I'm giving some mobile number. Um, some GST in. So let's hit submit button. So we got the success message and so we can see here that customer ledger is created and added to the name of ledger. So let's open this customer ledger. Let me minimize this window. So you can see here the ledger customer has been created into tally. So that's all guys. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please do like and subscribe and tell me what you want to see in the next video in the comment box below. Stay tuned for the next video.